Looking at life for most artists over history, I think now may be the very best time to be an artist. This is because the gatekeepers are losing their power. A hundred years ago, an artist needed a rich patron to get started, or a gallery owner who could see the potential in their work and who would introduce them to the right people. Today, for the very first time in human history, thanks to the internet and social media, the artist now has the power to succeed without depending on anybody but themselves. This is a difficult concept for me to fully realise. I didn't grow up with the internet. It happened little by little throughout my life without me noticing it almost. I grew up with the idea of an elite art world where only a select lucky few can succeed. But now I realise that if you're determined and work really hard and pair that with some talent, then today you can actually succeed all on your own, thanks to the wonders of the internet and social media. You just need to learn how to do it right, but the power is now really all with the artist. This can be quite intimidating. It was almost easier back in the day to hope for a lucky break. A bit like winning the lottery, really. It took some of the responsibility away and meant that if you didn't succeed as an artist, then it probably wasn't your fault. You were not blessed with knowing the right people or having a wealthy patron or parents who could put you in touch with someone who could launch your career for you. Now, if you have talent but don't succeed as an artist, it's possible that it may be because you simply didn't learn how to use social media correctly, that you just didn't put in enough effort, and that's a lot of pressure. All the responsibility is now on the artist. Artists used to always look to others for validation. Today you don't even need an art degree to succeed. Nobody needs to give you their permission. You can put your work in front of millions of people all over the world from your PC if you really want to. I have many books on selling art online and I've highlighted so many paragraphs in those books that it's ended up defeating the object of using a highlighter at all. I have put page markers in those books and filled notebooks and post-its with tips and things I need to put into action. I have to-do lists of to-do lists. All of this sometimes gets overwhelming and I think My goodness, wouldn't it be nice just to have a rich art collector introduce me to all their rich art collector friends and then I could just paint all day. What's helping me is that I'm falling in love with the creativity of being an artist on social media. It's becoming an intrinsic part of my artistic journey. Making paintings is a part of it, but editing videos, designing thumbnails, Writing text and selecting images to post are also an enjoyable part of the process for me. I suppose I'm lucky that I enjoy these things too. If I didn't, I wouldn't be able to keep up the pace, I don't think. Do you find that social media is a help to you as an artist? Or do you think it's too much work and takes too much time away from the time you could be spending working on your art? Do you think there are more successful artists nowadays than there were before? Or do you think that there is still a powerful elite somewhere in charge of it all behind the scenes and only a select few can succeed? 
I'd love to read your thoughts in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, think about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Thanks, bye!